Hi, I'm Sasha. And I'm Dahi. This is DNA Slot Cars, and welcome to another episode of Unbox, Track Test, and Review. Yes. Our favorite types? Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> Video is sponsored by 132slotcar.us. Check out the website. Um, they did send us these cars for review. Um, on that note, I have been sent some information regarding the rerun of the Datsun uh, Revo Slot Datsun 510s. Okay. Okay. So we'll put up on screen here. Um, I've had a couple of questions, and it was actually a question I asked myself. There was a twin pack released, which was a limited edition number. And as there was a rerun done, my question was, what or how were they going to be numbered? So I have been given that information. I'll pop this up on screen for you now. So we've got a celebration rerun that's been caused, uh, called, and there's 150 total. Um, as you can see there, that's number 96 of 150. Um, you can see it has that badge. Otherwise, the same as before. Um, and you'll see the front of the twin pack box there. And then the side, uh, you'll see the official import sticker as well. Yeah, so that's how they've gone and done it. Again, I'll pop that one back up. Yes. Celebration rerun rather than the original... Uh, limited run number um so that's what they've done okay um alan also has um just returned from italy and they were over at the yes. brm young timers a trophy which is very cool yes and he shared with me something that's i was like super impressed with it so obviously this car is a partnership between alan at scale racing and brm the yes. 240z so when he arrived over, they had presented him a custom 240Z that has was custom painted in the Apria uh, racing colors. Obviously, this is a, a fantasy livery, but that is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Uh huh. Look at that. That is so amazing. Cool. And what we have here is the car that the BRM USA team ran. So you'll see there the US flag on the roof and the orange body as well. I'll tell you, please make that a prayer livery, folks, because that's just amazing. If anybody is interested in this livery, um, as well pop these photos up on the screen yes the apria livery can you please comment in the description or get in touch with us yes because if there's enough interest we might be able to get that car done no promises but um i know we'd certainly be keen on that yes but a very nice gesture from brm to alan wasn't it yeah that a was nice, very kind of very nice welcome um and to have that done, and I can't remember the name of the guy who did it, but he's exceptionally uh, talented. That's absolute beauty, isn't it? I know. That's really pretty. Yeah. So there you go, folks. Just a little bit of, of news. And yeah, if, if anybody's keen on that livery, let me know. I'm keen on it. That's for sure. I'll, I'll uh, let Alan know, and we'll see what we can do. So. Um, all right. On to business. Yes. We have got two NSUTT cars. Let's get them opened up. And just in case people are not necessarily familiar, these are BRM 124 scale cars. They are the mini class of BRM. So they can be run on scale electric track and uh, you're not stuck with just having the larger size tracks to run these on. They will run on your scale electric track. Yeah, of course, you're not going to have the same clearance but it's uh it's nice option to have all right Ooh. lovely do you know what <clears throat> i have become addicted secretly i think to the group two and mini brm cars look at this this is number 352 um this is the lutz gerstorf tribute car um and it's number 352 Look at the detail on that car. 
exceptionally good and i love the look of these nsus because they Me have too. the uh that rear mounted engine and the boot acts as a yeah. a spoiler almost very very nice indeed that's cool it is and just checking out the wipers on that as well nice detail on there nice detail on there they look scale to me do they look scale to you sash yeah yeah they do um usual accompaniments for your brms you do have your exhaust which comes separate um your wing mirrors to be honest we probably won't put them on not now anyway you have your um nsu list which is always a very nice and welcome um thing to have what we've asked about as well um is putting in the tools required for these cars as well just to make life easy for everybody it does come in the white kit as well we'll put a link in the description to both of these cars they are recently in we've had them for a bit we just haven't had time to review them yet yeah. have we so yeah, usual stuff there, nothing surprising. Let's take a closer look at these cars, Sasha. Um, what's your first thoughts? Well, they are very beautiful. I like, nice, aren't they? I like how they have the back just open and up, opened up a bit. It's, it's, they're, they're pretty, aren't they? They're nice, yeah, nice they're cars. Very nice. The detail is very good. Um, mm -hmm. Everything down to the door handles, the decals um, on the windows the uh wheels the center caps yeah just very nice um and i'm a, a big fan of these uh, smaller cars and i've grown to love them even more and more since you raced uh one of these up at the 24 oh, actually yeah. yeah um let's get them over on the magnet marshall and the turntable yeah and we'll take it from there yeah okay okay so here is the number 352 car um just have a quick look there at it before we get it down. Usual uh, Group 2 mini car chassis refinements, quick release. You just loosen that and then pull the body off, same as with the Revo slots. Okay, so we've got 125 grams there. Um, let's just zero that out. Let's see if we got any magnetic downforce. Yeah, okay, so we've got five grams there. Yeah, okay, five grams in that one. And then the number 302 car. 27. Yeah, so we've got five grams total magnetic downforce as well. Okay, let's get these on the turntable. All right, so there we have it. Um, the number 352 NSU car. And as we mentioned, this is the Lutz Gerstorf tribute car. Um, pretty simple livery on this one. Um, we don't have a whole lot of plain white cars, do we really? No. So it's quite nice to get this one. You know, nothing too crazy or exciting with delivery. It's pretty plain. Um, you do have that nice orange um, roll cage inside. Let's, uh, the front here, you've got your decals. A lot of nice detail on this car, actually. Um, yeah, very nice detail. Yeah. I like the alloys as well. Me um, too. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, usual, um, same as the release system for the Rebo slots on the body. Um, nice anodized chassis and parts. Let's take a closer look. What do you think of this one, Sash? It is very nice. Even though it's this plain white livery, I th still think it's really, really cool. It is, isn't it? And it's kind of special because we don't have any plain white liveries, as yes, and also point. as BRM. I love the way on these cars, the, uh, the trunk or, or boot, as we call it back home, is almost like a spoiler. And then yeah. you have the, uh, 
I think that's one of my favorite parts about these. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's neat. Very nice. All right, let's get the other one on there. All right, so we have the number 302 car. Um, this one is the Hockenheim 2020 edition. I'm a big fan of the blue and green livery on this one. Me too. Um, and yeah, just like really like the look of the car. I would say this is my favorite of the two. Um, I also like that they've, you know, this is as this car was run. So you can see there's a, a black set of wheels on the front, silver on the rear. That could have been for various different reasons. Sometimes based on the tires, they would have different sets of rims. They may have even borrowed those specific rims from, from another team. You don't know the situation, but I like how they've kept true to that. And I do quite like the, the different color on the front and to the rear. Me too. Um, having been involved in the drift scene um, back in Ireland some years ago, you know, it was commonplace to have different color wheels in the back. Um, which was just part of that. Uh, but uh, yeah, very, very nice. Like the Liqui Molly. Um, you're a fan of Liqui Molly livery, yeah. aren't you? Which is your favorite of these two? I think it might be this one, but I also like how those the wheels and tires are like different colors. Yeah, so let's have a look at this. The paintwork is very, very good. Yes. Very, very nice. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, you've got a lot of detail there. Very, very small logos on the front. Very, very nicely appointed. You can see the interior. You've got your roll cage, your driver there, of course. Extinguisher. Um, yeah, very nice indeed. And everybody's favorite part about these cars <laughs> is the rear, for me anyway. Yeah, me too. I like those uh, wide arches. They really add that muscular vibe to these uh, little NSUs. Uh-huh. Awesome stuff. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, pretty car. You can see beautiful paint job. Apologies for any fingerprints. Yeah. I'm looking forward to getting these on the track, Sash. Me too. All right. Catch you at the track. We're back at the track, and I'm just about to start the lap times. Okay, so which one are you going with first? Number 302, Liquid Molly. Oh, like it, like it, like it. Me too. There's an example of one of the mini cars alongside the Revo Slot Porsche GT1. So as you can see, you know, there's not that much of a difference. So you can see why they're doable on the smaller track system. Yes. All right. Well, when we get back to you, I'll let you get started off again. And yes. um, I'll do a little bit of recording. And let's see what time you can push down with these. Yes. Okay. Okay. Whenever you're ready, Sasha. Nice, they look great on the track. Nice and quiet as well. Uh -huh. Like the handling, appears to be good, isn't it? Very good. Nice running, Sash. Really nice handling cars. It doesn't even look very tippy, even though it's tall. See what kind of time Sasha can squeak out. Oh, you've got a lot more time in you, Sash. As mentioned, these are untuned cars. I just checked over them, otherwise they are straight out of the box.
Nice work, Sash. Squeezing that time down. Into the fifth lap remaining, and now four to go. Come on, Sash, you've got a lot more speed in you than that. Come on now, push, Sash. That's it. New fastest lap, folks. One to go. All right. Nice driving. Thank you. Did you think you pushed it as hard as you could? Or yeah. were you, you did? Yeah. Yeah, nice work. How was it? It was great. It was great fun, even though it didn't really drift. It was still very fun. Yeah. And it was like just completely silent. Yeah, very quiet. Um, let's see how we got on with the times. So you got a six point eight three three. As I said, box stock, no tuning done on any of these. Nice work. We'll come back to you with the next one. Dash, whenever you're ready. Three, two, one, go. Nice. These are little weapons, aren't they? Yeah. It's just super fun. Nice shooting text. You can probably start up in the ante a bit. Ten laps raining. Ooh, bit of drift clean there. Nice driving, Sash. Oi! Two laps to go. Looked a little bit quicker. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I look quicker to me, too. All right, let's see. 6.345. I think these are going to be quick when we tune them. Oh, yeah. yeah because I, can, I can tell. Pretty good out of the box. I really want to see how fast we can make these cars. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's get back over to the table and we'll have a chat about them, okay? But I'm going to give you guys a quick look right. here because this is like the quick closest you guys can get. So. Nice. I still prefer that one. Our friend Harry um, has uh, one of these. Oh, he's that's cool. Scale RC and slot cars now, I think he's changed his name to. Yeah, he's a big fan of that car as well. Um, that's 352. Cool. The white is nice, though, even though it's like it's plain. Yeah. Even though it's, it's plain, it's like it's easy. Nice looking and it's car, nice. isn't it? Yeah. Awesome. All right, let's get back over to the table. <laughs> We're back at the review table. Review or reveal? Review. Oh, I see. 
Okay. It's a review table at the beginning, but a reveal mm. table at the end. I see. Because you reveal the times. You know, can you get it? <laughs> I see. All right. All right, let's take a closer look at these cars. Um, leave them like that so they're facing each other. Yeah, face to face. Um, I'll let you give us your thoughts on each car, how you found it handling-wise. Um, what, if anything, did you like or dislike about each car? Okay. What would you do differently? Is there any ways you would improve it? Um, well, by improving it. Yeah. So how about you start off with the number 302 and tell us what you like and then anything if you don't like anything as well. Well, first I want to improve by both of these is trying to make them quicker. Yes. Agreed. Um, with the Liquid Molly, I th it was very, very smooth and quiet. Uh -huh. Um. It had very good handling. Uh -huh. It was quick. Yeah. Um, and I was very surprised how quick this was. I thought I might have been a bit slower than that. It was very, very quiet yes. as well. So we did check the cars over, and the gear mash was pretty good on these. Obviously, we'll do all of that ourselves when we yes. set these cars up we're, properly. We're going to like. Yeah, we, we'll set these up 100% and we'll try and run them as fast as we can to see can we beat the previous Group 2 and Mini Cars, yeah? All right, so was there anything that you would do to improve that car? Was there anything you don't like about it uh, apart from you would like to tune it and make it a bit faster? I'm not really sure because all I kind of want to do with some of these cars is trying to make them faster and try to improve. Yeah, okay. And do you like delivery colors? Yeah, that livery is very nice. I love the uh -huh. navy blue and green. And you know I like the livery of yeah. the Cole Molly. So. What about the different color wheels front and back? Would you prefer oh, yeah. them the same color wheels? or do you Different, like, like, yeah. Like I different? like them different. Okay. That That's cool. Quirky? Yeah. Quirky like you? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I also like the back here. All right. So with this car... Uh, you weren't that quick with that one. No. So that is 14th place on our list. It's the slowest so yeah. far of any. And I honestly think that... I can was, definitely improve it. Yeah, you were slower than you were with the second car because that was your first run. Yeah, um, I think usually my first cars are the slowest because I'm just getting used to them. Yeah, you're getting used to them. So you did a 6.833 with that car, okay? Um, which means that it's 14th on the list. All right. Yes. Um, well, 14th, is, that's actually not true because there's a few times belong to me in here, actually. So, so not if we all take of those them. out of, of the are, equation. So. All right. 12th on the list. Okay. All right. Yeah, so 12th yeah. on the list. All right. Um, let's move on to the number 352 car, okay? Tell everybody what your thoughts were on that. Um, did you find any differences between both cars? One any easier to drive than the other, one a little bit quicker, for example. That um, one was quicker than that. Okay, so tell us, talk to us about this one. <coughs> well, if you, you said there was a drift, I saw that too. So that one had drifts, but this one didn't. Yeah. Um, that one was also very smooth and quick. Uh -huh. It was faster than this one. Uh -huh. um, it was very nice to run, and even though it's a plain livery, I still think it's very nice. Yeah, yeah. Like sometimes cars are good, but just no color. Uh -huh. And there's no, we didn't do any tire work with any no. of these as well. We just got them straight out of the yeah. box. I would say um, this car, if anything, there might be a teeny tiny bit of tire rub on this one. Yes. Which... I'd obviously need to adjust and sort out for the next run. I would expect the times to even up between them. Um, anything else notable about that car? Very quiet, I thought. Oh, yes, that yeah. was quiet too. Um, all right. Well, you managed a 6.345 with this one. So. Okay. So that's the champion for today. Yes. <laughs> and that champion. one was um, number 10 on the list. Yeah. So you did pretty well. Um, I definitely think that in future we should let you run cars solid for maybe 10, 20 laps to get you warmed up. Yeah. Because what's happening is is that you are slower with the first car you run always. Yeah. And then you get faster and faster. <laughs> yeah, so 
I remember when we did this world exclusive, um, yeah. who can be faster. The first one I did was the Porsche 917 Golf. Yeah. Um, we redid that because that, we didn't think that was fast enough since yeah. I was just getting used to it. Well, these were off this list. These are the only two cars that have not been tuned and set up. <laughs> yes. Um, so we so. would not expect them to be first. Uh, as fast. And bear in mind, this car was already faster than the BMW 2002 uh, Ti. Even though it, that one was That was tuned. set up. So, uh, I would expect us to be able to improve substantially on this time. Me too. Yeah. Uh, I want to try to get these over 10, like 10th place over. Yeah, no problem, I'd say. So the details of these cars, folks, again, um, thanks to our sponsor, 132slotcar.us. Uh, details down there. The, the links to buy these cars will be in the description. Uh, so the main description area of the video, I have a lot of people asking, where do we pre-order them? The yes. links are directly in the video description on this, um, on YouTube. So easy enough. Um, so we've got uh, BRM148, which is this car here, okay? And that is the NSU TT Liqui Moly, uh, number 302, the Trophy Hockenheim 2020. The car is $159.99 US. You will get free shipping within the USA if you order that from uh, Alan at 132. Then we have BRM149. That's how you'll find it. That's the code of this car. BRM149, the NSU TT number 352. That's Kampf, there's uh, And that's the Lutz Gersdorf uh, tribute. That car is also $159.99. These are recently arrived. As I said, we have had them for quite a while. Because um, we didn't have time. Yeah, we, we did. were very busy. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff um, to review and we're getting through it. Um, and we're not rushing anything. Yeah. We're just doing it, having fun, moving on, you know, and um, we have a load of stuff coming. Yes. So just <laughs> keep an eye. <laughs> What have we got next after this? Um, we have Slotits, Revo Slot, and more BRMs yeah. to come. So, so, yeah. And there'll be, uh, yeah, I think there'll be some, some interesting stuff. We've got some great podcasts on the way as well. Stay tuned next week for a, an amazing podcast. I think you're yes. going to enjoy that one. Okay, so time-wise, I will stick that up on the leaderboard list okay uh pop it up here yeah yeah so just to recap on this one you did a 6.345 which is good out of the box and this one was a 6.833 but i think with a little bit of tire rub on this one again i just have to sort that out and actually set the car up um and we i think we'll get some good times out of those yeah, me too. Um, if they need to compete with the other mini cars, so you did with the Simca, you did a 6.278, yeah? Yeah. And the Gordini was a 6.06 or 6.063. Okay. Um, anything else you'd like to say? Um, other than the 510 Revo slots are now in stock at uh, 132. Um, if you are waiting on those, um, you should be getting them pretty soon. Yes. Um, there is some, we've got some further releases coming in from Revo Slot as well. The new Corvette C5 liveries, uh, there's a lovely twin pack as well. You love a twin pack, don't you? Yes, I love an old twin you know I mean? Yeah. Um, I got oh, one more thing to say. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. So, Harriet, our scale rc mm -hmm. how do you like your car and can you please tell me in the description how fast it is because i want to try to beat that if it's faster than yeah me. it's going to be hard though because his track is not the same as ours yeah so you'd have to have the same track to have comparison on times wouldn't you yeah yeah i still want to try to get these two cars faster though oh that's not a problem um great chance to thank everybody for their yes. support. Thanks for subscribing, liking yeah. our videos, 
and watching of them, of course, because it's only like just a dad and a daughter doing a couple of videos about cars. That's it. We're just doing it for fun, folks. We <laughs> do not uh, do it for anything else, you know, uh, other than fun. We work with Alan and Julia 132 Slot Car, and we are fortunate that we get sent cars for review. And Which I'm very happy fun. about it. Yes. Um, but as I said, th we're anything we get, honest opinion, if we don't like it, we'll tell you. Um, but these cars are nice, you know, they're yes. great fun. And, great fun. you know, you've got to be just as long as you know they're not ready to run, you know. Okay, we, we ran them out of the box. Yeah. But they need to be set up, you know, it's not a problem. Um, as we said, there's lots of options out there for slot car brands and if you want uh, cars that are ready to run out of the box there's some fantastic options yes fantastic options you can uh, get something like a carrera car um, which do 124 and 132 uh, digital analog then you could go down the scale extra route which are ready to run as well um, and they can be shipped to run digitally as well as analog so plenty of options to cover everybody um and if you you know if you don't mind doing a bit of playing around a bit of setup then i highly recommend that you try out these brm cars as i said they will run on your scale electric track yes. yeah you're not going to have as much clearance as we have on the carrera or the poly car but you can still have fun and have a, a competitive race as they say robin is racing <laughs> yes yeah? that's very true <laughs> um as always, folks, thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Tell me when we're ready, okay? Ready. Just thinking positive thoughts, imagining a successful recording. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Sasha. And I'm Dahi. This is Let's do this again. Mama. Ha, ha, mama. Ha, ha, mama. Ha, ha, mama. Okay, let's go. Hi, I'm Sasha. Okay, that's not gonna work. You sound like an old man. What are you actually doing? Dancing. Any chance we can record at any point tonight, or are we just gonna play? Both. Because <laughs> riding slot cars is playing because they're just cars how come you were so slow on the last one hmm. Hmm? i tried think you'd be faster with this one probably yeah <laughs> i have a feeling you did well i'm joking I'm the girl with many faces. You almost hit me. Pardon? I, I almost hit you when I was waiting. Yeah. What was you done if I had? Hey, you hit me. Did you cry? No, I would say, hey, you hit me. <laughs> By the way, how, how come you're so slow? Slow, you're slow now. I'm kidding. You're very fast. No, well, I'm kidding. You're very fast. You're too fast. What did we go? What did I get with this car? Um, six point zero eight two. That's fine. I'm like just an. I'm just an eight year old. You're like twelve seconds slower than me. But I'm just an eight year old. Twelve seconds. No, it's not twelve seconds. <laughs> I'm just an eight year old. You're not really eight, though. You well, tell it. You want to tell everybody you're really thirteen. <laughs> well, I'm turning nine. Yeah, you're turning nine, aren't you? Yeah. Now you're doing very well. Very impressed with you. Thank you. All right. Cut. Cut. Is that is that still rolling? Yeah. Is that rolling, Roisin? <laughs>